Hi, hello students. Welcome to SPR EduTech. So today I'm gonna deal you about uh, Hindu news analysis with mains focus. Okay, Hindu news. So Hindu newspaper articles, I will take a content and from them I will frame a main question how it could be framed and also its importance and how you can answer it. So this is completely a mains answer right type answer writing preparations and also guidance and also in future from June. So June 15. June 15, I'm gonna launch a mains focused mains training. So if you are interested, you can inquire through the comment section. I will be responding. If you are really interested, then I will try to launch the course for your exam preparations. So here, let's check it over. Antarctic sea ice cover hits the record low. This was the current effects. So here, ice cover region on the earth is called as cryosphere. So cryosphere, what is the cryosphere? The frozen layer, frozen layer. Or ice covered zone of the ice covered zone of the earth is called as a cryosphere. So this cryosphere is melting means Antarctic Sea is melting. That is what. So this question I had already told you 2017 and 20, uh, 2021. This is one important topic two times asked in the question exam. So now so regarding this question. So here I'm gonna provide how the questions could be asked. In general, UPSC preparation if you are preparing, there will be a discuss the impacts of climate change on the cryosphere and consequences of global sea level so here discuss based question and if explain based question explain the role of glaciers in the maintaining the water supply to the rivers and human settlements in the mountainous region analyze the ecological significance of polar sea ice and vulnerabilities to the climate change critically evaluate so critically evaluate type of question so here critically evaluate the importance of permafrost and global climate uh, global uh, carbon cycle and also potential feedback loops associated with the permafrost. If they are asking critically evaluate, you should not take a stand, which means you should earn a dilemma stage. You should say the strength and weakness, you should say the positive and negatives. Both combined, you need to be able to see. And next, here you can see describe the significance of Himalayan glaciers and regional water resources and potential consequences of the retreat. And also discuss the challenges and potential solutions for the adapting to the impacts of cryosphere melting in coastal areas. This is what more significant question related to it so here you can see 2021 what is the question asked you can see here so how do the melting of arctic ice and glaciers of the antarctic differentially affect the weather pattern and human activities on the earth explain they are asking explain type of question how our ice melting will impact the weather and human activities and one more question see here 2017 how does the cryosphere affect the global climate i'm gonna explain you the answer based on frozen 17 so here this is the article which was provided in the 23rd of may 2023 but from here you can see direct questions asked in upsc so this is how the questions persist but here you need to utilize the content available and frame a question so every time i say to the students whenever you're writing a main answer you need to have a proper introduction a relevant conclusion and relevant body but the format will be vary here i'm gonna explain the content but here you can have utilize your creativity you can utilize your creativity. you can frame in any format but here you need to understand the, how the question persists then you need to go forward so here first of all introduction always stays to be the definition cryosphere means what which encompasses the frozen components of the earth surface that is what the definition and also it plays a crucial role in the global climate through the several mechanism so that only we are reading it what are all that mechanism importantly climate system can be impacted by albedo feedback carbon cycling atmospheric circulation patterns and also explore to the aspects of in detail so we are exploring them in detail let us understand this what is albedo albedo means you need to understand so here when you are going outside from your home your mom will allow you to put a white shirt or black shirt in a sunny day your mom would say don't put black shirt why so actually black absorbs heat but what about white white reflects the heat which means white has albedo high albedo so high albedo black has low albedo which means what so white color reflects so whenever a light is reflected that has good albedo which means now albedo feedback is high for what cryosphere so cryosphere will have a high amount of albedo so now we can see here cryosphere is a snow ice surfaces reflects the sunlight back to the space so here when it reflects the sunlight it will not get heated so heat is not present on the earth surface so here it helps in cooling of the earth so cryosphere melts slowly slowly ground is exposed to sunlight the darker surfaces are exposed to sunlight and more heat is absorbed and which will lead to the global warming so further warming of the earth surface so here albedo can impact the climate change albedo is based on the cryosphere next 
carbon cycling you know the water which format changes from one format to other formats similarly on this earth carbon will be changing from one format to other format in the carbon cycling you understand cryosphere means a frozen part which means the perma force means the permanently frozen part of the earth is called as a permanent force mostly in the polar regions in the underground level also they will be frozen ice present so here this has more organic compound organic compound means methane hydrates what is it methane hydrates are high in number so this methane hydrates when this cryosphere melts this carbon and methane will be exposed released into the atmosphere this will in turn lead to the greenhouse effect in a higher stance and next this will increase the global warming because the methane has a 23 times more potential than the so called carbon so this is very dangerous and next here you can see atmospheric circulation sir how it can impact the circulation simple guys so here cryosphere increases wind patterns which means atmospheric pressure so here we know that polar regions are high pressure belts but now when melting happens more heated up it can turn into a low pressure which means melting of arctic ice for example it can disturb the polar jet streams which can alter the climatic patterns weather patterns and increase the extreme weather events present over that region now now again sea level rise when sea level keep on rising ice glacial everything keep on melting and this will pose a risk to the coastal regions vulnerable storms can happen coastal population should be displaced which is very 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 dangerous things next other components which can impact by cryosphere interacts with the ocean biosphere climate dynamics and many other things can have a bigger impact so here overall you need to understand the conclusion what is it speaks about so here cryosphere which can impact the global climate change by uh, for example characteristics by changing the characteristics of global warming and also positive feedback loops albedo greenhouse uh, gas emissions and also atmospheric circulation weather pattern rising sea level these are all the important important things but understanding this cryosphere and addressing this complex issues can lead to the betterment of our climate system so here we need to work on the important mitigation measures and climate change but we are uh, we can uh, save our planet earth from the nature and human system can be saved from the impacts or adverse impact of this cryosphere danger this is a important question that you need to understand asked in 2017 but you can add some diagrams add some images add some creativity add some headings also but overall format of the question how it stands to be how the single topic can be asked in multiple ways of questions that has been clearly mentioned by me so that it will help you in a proper learning really if you are interested in mains training or uh, mains coaching you can provide as a queries guys so that i can provide you for a qualitative content bye bye take care have a nice day this is me sp or signing off have a nice day